This is Edward Mungai with Edward Mungai Fitness. We are now on day number 20 of the 35-day countdown to Tokyo Marathon. Still in my family kitchen and still looking forward to inspiring with different kind of foods. Yesterday, we talked about the five components that must be on your diet. Today, I'm looking at the five don'ts of a marathoner's diet. These are the things that you shouldn't try. This is from experience, and I'm sharing my story. Number one, and I know I'm going to get in trouble with this one, is no alcohol. I used to drink seven years ago, but when I started this journey, I couldn't optimize my runs. I couldn't get my desired objectives. I couldn't get my target to my target. But believe it or not, when I gave up the bottle and I threw a minute, no wine, no alcohol at all, I was able to optimize my runs and the rest is history. Do you want to challenge yourself and stop drinking today? and start running, well, probably is the best choice. But one of the don'ts from my experience is that don't run and take alcohol. After all, why do you run? It's all about your calories. You want to reduce on calories. You want to burn more calories. Now, when you take a beer or a nice whiskey, my friend, you are adding on to your calories. It's kind of you are adding, 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 and yet you are running to subtract. And the net effect is that you'll still keep on adding weight, unfortunately. And secondly, you'll not be able to optimize your run. So that's my don't number one. Moving on to don't number two, what is it that you should not do? No meals beyond 8 p.m. Of course, this goes very well for those who don't drink. Because normally if you don't drink, you can be able to afford to eat food at 8 p.m. Otherwise, then you'll have to. If you're drinking, meat will not only be ready. It will only be ready after 9 o'clock. But the truth of the matter is that do not eat past 8 p.m. Because that also leads to accumulation of calories and fats in your body. Looking on to do number, don't number three, and this is also very important, is that you need to ensure that you are not taking processed food. Processed food are not for this game. Because if you are taking processed food, they are digested very fast and they store fats very fast. And this is what you don't need. What you need, you need food which can stick in your body, and which can be able to release energy in very short spans of time, meaning that you can be able to sustain the energy that is required for you to be able to get there. Talking about don't number four, and also this is also another sad one for many of you, is something called coffee. I know some of us cannot survive without it. But in this game of running, it dehydrates you. So please, let's reduce on the amount of coffee that you are taking, because then we can be able to run more, we can be able to achieve our targets, and we can remain healthy. It's doable. You can do without coffee. By the way, replace it with tea. And if possible, replace it with ginger tea, replace it with pure tea, and if possible, from fresh bread. Because I've tested it and it works. Number five, and also this one, I'm also going to get in trouble, is about red meat. Red meat is not good for your running. Try and source white meats, fish, chicken, and soya, if you like, tofu. These are the things that will build your muscles these are the things which will put you out of trouble. To digest red meat takes three days, I'm told. So you cannot afford to be eating red meat and yet you expect to
to have a good run, to sustain the energy, and for your mood to be positive. So let's avoid it because that's another don't. Those are my five don'ts that you should not engage in if you are planning to get into these marathons. This is Edward Mungai with Edward Mungai Fitness and I hope that you are still following the story as we head to Tokyo 2019 marathon and I hope that you are sharing these videos with your friends and families and at the same time you are commenting and feel free to ask me all the questions because I'm more than happy to answer. Like, how did you stop drinking? Please ask that question and I'll be able to tell you the game plan and how to ensure that friends are not bullying you to continue drinking. If you haven't subscribed, please continue subscribing and let other also subscribe. The links are down here. So please subscribe. And then this is Edward Mungai with Edward Mungai Fitness and stay fit. Thank you.